there guys, we've stopped off at Cooktown overnight and we're just filling up our water and having a bit of a look around down the local park. As you can hear, it is windy as hell. It's getting a bit old, the wind, the fishing So we're going to get moving. We've topped up our tanks, everything's good to go. And we're going to make our way up into Cape Melville National Park. Hopefully we can hide from the wind. Where are we and what have we been doing? So today we've traveled up the Cape Melville track from Cooktown and we have now stopped at the Starkey River for the night, right at the river mouth. And we're gonna have a bit of a look around here tonight, have a bit of a cook up again. We've got some ribs to put on and we might get a bit of fishing done. Hopefully we catch something up here because apparently <laughs> there's a bit of an offer. It's a dusty track and yeah, we will continue up the track towards Cape Melville tomorrow. We've got a nice sunset. Um, yeah. The camping area is all this really sandy. Um, what do you reckon, Jazz? Is there enough dust on the trailer and in the trailer today? Yeah, so there was actually quite a lot in the trailer today. Um, we haven't, it hasn't been too bad, so that was the first time I was. I, we brought the beach with us, I think. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's okay. No damage? No damage, no, we're doing good. Mm getting through here pretty pretty good a mm. few big washouts big potholes to look out for a heap of bull dust um, but yeah pretty smooth sailing other than that So we stopped at Cohen last night um, at the pub and we met Leighton and Leighton has a bit of a story for us on why he's still here this morning. <laughs> hey guys, so luckily I found Jazzy and Sean yesterday. I broke a pedal on my push bike. I'm riding from Hobart to Cape York on this push bike I built. I've been in Australia for two years. I'm a Canadian and actually our adventure was pretty fun. So we had a beer at the pub, of course, took a road beer and we went to the tip and we salvaged some pedals from the local Cohen tip to throw on the push bike. And now I'm gonna get riding again. Thank you guys for the help. All good. All good, anytime. <laughs>
what are we doing here, Jazz? Um, prepping our cleared site, get rid of all the leaves. We'll clean it up and run the blower over it. Yeah. We're here on the Wenlock River. It's all pretty nice, very leafy, lots of leaves. Someone's left a lot of toilet paper around as per usual. Although I forgive them, they left a nice log here on the fire for me to cut up with the chainsaw. This is the Wenlock River at the moment. There is not a lot of water. On the far side, there's, it's running and closest to us it's running. The rest of it's receded because of dry season. Someone's been shooting bottles here with a little 22 um, caliber pistol. I'll see if I can find a few, few of the shells. Here we are. Little 22 Calibre rimfire shells. Someone's just been sitting here all night shooting and carrying on. So we're here. We are going to make the most of this spot. It's free. We've just been and had a look at the old gold mine and all the machinery. So we'll have pictures and videos from that. Um, yeah, this is the place for tonight. just cooked um, potatoes in the fire. Uh, this is the first time both Sean and I have done it. So I'm gonna open them up and see what they're like on the inside. So see whether we burnt them, whether we've done it good. I don't know, because like I said, I've never done it before. So I know we need to double wrap them so that we don't get the stuff in it. Getting all up. Oh no. Oh. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. They're they a little look, bit, maybe. No, they look like they're done perfect. Yeah. I've got like a. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Okay, so for the potatoes, we just use the little white ones. I think they're called washed potatoes. Um, and then I just scored them. I made up a little um, paste of garlic, all my like loads of different herbs, um, and then butter, and I mixed it all together. Once I scored the potatoes, I rubbed the potatoes in the little paste that I made. I wrapped them in foil. I did double wrap them to stop the ash from getting in, so the ash will only get in on the um, second layer, not the one that's actually wrapped in the potato. So, and then half an hour, so we just dug a hole put them in, chuck the ashes on top, half an hour. They were a little bit crispy, but I, we like them like that. So if you don't want them as crispy, just don't cook them for as long. So yeah, but they're really good. Sean's just doing his nice part of society and helping some people out who've broken down. So maybe one day if we're ever in this position, someone will be able to help Battery left. Okay. We've been told that if you go on a night walk here, there's some really, really cool animals. So we're going on a night walk. Just heard some stuff like real quick in the grass. 
figure of your imagination. No, <laughs> stop it. And now it's, uh, we can't find it. We found our first live animal. Is a friend. Is a friend of ours, Mr. Frog. Is just chilling on the road, even though he's got a whole rainforest to be in. Some reason he chose to be on the road. Just waiting for this big fella to get off the road. We finally found what we're looking for tonight. Jazz almost walked into him. These snakes here, they only exist here in the Iron Range National Park and in Papua New Guinea. And you can see he's blue. You see the blue patches on him. It doesn't mind me too much now because we've been hanging around and waiting for him to get off the road so he doesn't get run over by the next person who comes through. I think it's just, yeah. We didn't even think we'd find him. But he was in plain sight on the road rather than hanging on a tree or in the grass. Almost stepped on this little fella as well. And it looks like he's eaten something that he shouldn't have been eating because his stomach is all bulged out unless he got ran over. Okay, so we've just left Cook's Hut in Iron Range National Park. Um, a little bit about the camping area, it's actually, it's really small. There are toilets there, but the toilets had no toilet paper. Luckily we brought our own. Um, things to do in the area. So we did a bit of a night walk last night. We got to see the um, green snake. Is it a green tree snake? No, it's a different different type of snake anyway it's a it's the snake that everybody comes to this particular area to see so we were very lucky to be able to see that last night um and yeah so we're heading off again today on the road um, we're heading from iron range <coughs> national park which is on the coast and we're going to backtrack now back towards the peninsula development road <coughs> and we're going to take a detour through the frenchman's track and try and cross the Pasco River, which is pretty gnarly. It's a rocky entry on both entry and exit. Um, might be a bit of winch work to get the trailer through. Not sure yet until we see it. But that'll be us, and we're going to head to Bramwell Junction, I'd say, tonight. Hopefully, get some power and some top up our water and stay on top of it all. So you'll see some footage from Frenchman's Track. Not many tow caravans through there, I don't think any do, so hopefully it will be. wicked stuff. That should be some good footage. We're just midway through the um, Frenchman's track, and we've come across a note from our friend Leighton on the bike. This has been a bit of a game we've been playing along the way because we're usually a couple of days apart. Oh, it's the, um, you know how you lost your shackle? Oh, I found a whole bag of shackles and here's my name on the right, on the ground. He's left a note, he found me shackles. I told him I lost the bolt out of my shackle. So I'm only running one shackle for my trailer chains. And he got us a shackle and he's left He's even left the tools to so put it on. So that we can put it together. And here we go. This is the things you find on the road in Cape York. It's all a part of the fun. We're playing games and we're having a good time.
Hope you enjoyed watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more.